Sandra, great to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Congratulations on this film. It was such an intense film. I'm personally scared of the dark, so I was watching this going, you spent most of it blindfolded. In the dark as well. Yeah. Yes, How yeah. harrowing is that? Hey, it's not It's not fun, but it's not meant to be fun. I mean, I, 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 I liked the fact that it did half the work for you. Um, I didn't have the luxury of, of being comfortable in it, and, and, and that, that helped. Wait a second. I'm just going to, this guy is driving me nuts. Now, see, this is where, yeah, this is a Hollywood issue. Which side does he go on? Left. I want the audience to decide. Do we put him on this side? Well, watch. And then we put him on this side. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, there That's we go. He He's just. Yeah. Anyway. Um... <laughs> oh, hold on. I'm fixing it. No, this is this is this is real life, people. This is real. These are real life problems, and everyone in the audience is seeing this problem. Okay. <laughs> Your question was, what? I thought the blindfold was the problem. <laughs> it was it, well, not as problematic no. as that guy. Um, it, it did. I liked what it did. It made. I didn't realize that my crabbiness and my irritability was stemming from the fact that I was not with my usual superpowers, which are your your crutches as an actor. Your eyeballs are things that help you translate the scene yeah. and convey emotion. I didn't have that. So, it, but what was great about it was that um, the freneticism and the, the unexpected feeling from it was 90% of the time happening. There were two times that I had to sort of make sure I could see when I had to fall with the kids. I wasn't about to put their lives at risk for yeah. my method acting. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, was, it, was, it was a powerful sort of realization on what you're capable of when you don't have your eyes. Yeah. In the film, Mallory actually says, the end of the world makes us do things. This world can sometimes feel like such a scary place. How do you make sure not to get blinded by the darkness and to make sure that your light shines through? Well, I've, I've had the blessing of, of having seen and been around really profound kindness and hopefulness and people doing amazing things. You know, I, I know it's hard to dig out the, the stories in, in you know, the media and the news that are actually beautiful things happening in the world because so, we so gravitate towards the, the horror of it. And it's a natural inclination, but I've, I've seen it, I've been inspired by it, I've been affected by it. So I at least have a knowledge that it exists. Yeah. So when you're trying to scare your children about what's out there, because you do sort of want to scare them a little bit because mm -hmm. um, you want them to be aware and not naive, you have to balance it with what you know to be in existence, which is there are amazing people out there. We just don't talk about them as much as we talk about those who are creating havoc. Yeah. As a mum, I love this film because you saw a different portrayal of a mum. Yeah. You saw that, you know, everyone's journey is different. It can be scary. Mm -hmm. What's the scariest thing that nobody told you about parenthood? How much you would be worrying and living in fear every single day for your children. It, 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 it ignites the worst thoughts, it, it makes you um, imagine the worst situations happening constantly and you have to talk yourself off the ledge and remember to have joy and fun and to play. You know, we're so worried about finishing homework or cleaning up the room or remembering the rules and your please and thank yous and were you polite and are you kind and, you know, I spend so much time harping on things that you go, did I actually today show any joy or playfulness? to these two little creatures, because that's the most important thing I want them to take on in life. But, you know, motherhood is frightening. Motherhood carries with it something that I think it, it, it is, is not the same for fatherhood. Um, and what I loved about this story, I go, the river basically is the metaphor for being a, a mom. How frightening it is, how brave we need to be, and what we're capable of doing when our children are put at risk. And finally, this, another theme running through, because there's so many themes running through this film, another one is fear. When in, your, when in your career did you feel the fear and go, I'm going to go with it anyway, and you're thrilled by that decision? You know, I think acting is all fear-based. I, I, I bet if you talk to every actor, um, when an actor says, oh, I'm totally comfortable and confident, and you're like, oh, no, that's a lie. Um, I think there is there's an inherent fear about stepping into the role as an actor into, into a movie putting yourself on the line and being judged for it and failing at it. And um, that, fuel, that, that fuels your, your, your work. Um, so I think as an actor, you're just naturally fearful all the time. Well, thanks for feeling the fear and delivering this stuff. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so Sandra. much. Thank you.